What's going on today guys? I hope everyone had an awesome weekend. For today's video, I want to cover letterbox opening. It's really cool to do in an intro or an outro. A lot of music videos do it and cinematic movies as well. And my next few tutorials, I want to ask you guys what you want to see. There was a comment from Bobby Lomax who said, I find your tutorials really helpful. However, would it be possible to occasionally do some of your older style videos where selfie isn't used and you teach your audience? I personally prefer learning them instead of a preset. So if you guys want to see more sort of all in Final Cut videos, let me know. If you guys like the presets, let me know as well. Um, but I'm definitely going to try and mix it up. So thank you, Bobby, for your comments. For this effect, what we want is an opening or a closing if it's for an outro. So I have a clip laid out here. This was on my Instagram video last week, so you might have seen it. It's this pan up drone shot of my neighborhood. So starting from the beginning, all we have to do is keyframe uh, cropping off the top and the bottom. So if you have a 1080p timeline, if you divide that two, in two, you have 540. So we're going to take 540 pixels off the top and 540 off the bottom. Just like so. So now depending on how long you want your opening to be is how far you move your playhead and you can keyframe that I like to do longer around four seconds should be pretty cool so then we're going to go into the keyframe again keyframe those two and set those back to zero so now what we'll have is an opening oh forgot to keyframe we start 540 off the top, 540 off the bottom. And now we have this opening effect and it goes to zero, which is pretty cool. So now if you wanna add in the letterbox, what you could do is either where you keyframe to zero, you could either keyframe 265 pixels or should be 132 pixels and 132 pixels. So now this adds in the letterbox effect at a 2.35 aspect ratio. Or if we reset that, you can add in the letterbox effect that's built into Final Cut. And add that at 2.35. And then that will stop there. If you guys wanna change your keyframes and make it open up longer, if you right click and show video animation, you can see the keyframes that you added here. If you zoom in under the trim category, and if we highlight these, then we can drag these over to whatever length we want. If we want to add an extra second, we can do that and slow it down. So another way to do this sort of intro, which I actually think is a lot easier, if we reset those keyframes, is built in is a transition under wipes if you scroll down to the bottom called center and there's some nifty features built into this so if we add that to the start and we drag this out to four seconds again if you click on the transition you can change the angle if you want it to open horizontally or vertically i'm going to have it open horizontally just like we had before so if we add that, and what's built into here is edge treatment, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna set the direction to open. So within edge treatment is you can add a feather, which looks really cool for an opening sequence. It's very cinematic. There's a feather and then there's a noir as well, which is very similar, um, but it's not as smooth as the complete feather. Feather, you don't really see a hard edge, whereas noir, you'll see a more of a distinct edge. So I like noir actually. That's what 
I like to use. So now if we play this, that might be a little short. We can drag this up. But I think this is a super cool look that you can do for an opening sequence because it's sort of, it's sort of like an eye opening effect. So it's really cool in the intro if we copy that transition and put that at the end. We'll see what this looks like. Oh, I'm going to change that to close. I don't know, I think this effect is super cool and super simple. It's a subtle touch that you can do for the beginning and ending of your videos. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more all in Final Cut tutorials, please comment them down below. Leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.